the right question now. is, Paul. How many and which ones am I going to burn my hands really, okay. really bad on? We got a banana here? Burville and bead locks. Oh, okay. I'm Matt from Bats Off Road Recovery here with Paul from Fab Rats, and we are never this official. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> I've been having some trouble keeping my tires on. The rims at low PSI, but I can't find commercially available beadlock for the size of wheels I run. So our buddy Robbie, who owns Leighton Auto Body, he came through for me. He's like, "Hey, I've got a CNC plasma table. Come up. We'll cut your uh, beadlocks out." So we did, and now we're here at Fabrat Shop, and we're going to be putting them together today. That was pretty good. That's do you have anything good. to say? No, I just have a lot of work to do. I guess I'm gonna tell you my evil plan. Yeah, you, what you got. And you can tell me why it's not gonna there's work. There's six lug and eight lug and yeah, yeah, yeah. These are the wheels we're gonna be putting the beadlocks on. Okay. So Perfect. we're gonna be welding those in, so we just gotta be careful and get them nice and centered and then burn those in. Alright. Easy enough. This Basically is, they just drop in and you you weld, grind them up. You weld, weld them, them in. Up. Once it's welded, we'll pinch it down to the table and bend these lips up. We'll show you the process and it'll all make sense. Got yeah, my safety something's on. Because <laughs> us at Fab Rats, it's safety first. So moss and I'm done. Well, let's... Let me jump up there. Okay. What we're gonna do is tack it. Oh wow! Like he's serious. Yeah, I'm gonna look at this. Jumping we're up just gonna there. Tack it. Okay. You just get your welder set up. You get your welder set welder up. Welder set up. Oh. Why are you so efficient? <laughs> I think these third. wheels are like trailer wheels. So they're <laughs> okay, I'm thinking this is good if you want to start tacking. I sure do. Yeah. So the right question now. is, Paul. How many <laughs> and which ones? Am I going to burn my hands really, okay. really bad on Is this welding table tall enough for you? Just barely. <laughs> so all welded in these are called anti coning rings basically what you do is you bend those up and then this goes down and hits them so it doesn't dimple this down in and then it pinches your tire in between here and here and they can't come out it, it locks the bead if you will I'm deburring there's no burrs in there Robbie did such a good job there's no burrs I got a new light. I've seen that. <laughs> yeah, what happened to the light, Papa Dar? <laughs> that fell off the hoist. And went bang. Ended up in little pieces. I don't think we could chuck those up in the lathe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got good news. I brought the right length of bolts. That's good. So the trick is you get all the bolts in and make sure that everything's lined up and then you've got to do this and clamp them in so you don't end up with a, a wobbly wagon. So the next step is bending those tabs up. Uh, 
Oh. I think eyeball. You can or eye tap them with a hammer. Oh, they're pretty close. Any tappy tappy on any of those? We'll be able to tell when it's checked up in the lathe. We'll trim them flat. You're gonna lay them or plaza them? Just gonna lay them off so they're. Woo! Alright, they're flat. It's a little harsh on my bit. How much squish you want on your bebop? Oh, you're the only one here that's done them before. I would imagine somewhere between 40 and 100,000, so I don't know. Okay. We're exact right now. Same thickness as the rubber, so. So bring it down a little bit more. Yep, we'll cut a hundred thousandths off of it. <laughs> I think I just found my favorite job in this shop. Dar's got it figured out. <laughs> Watch these young fellers get it done. Okay, well, I can just bend that out, air it up. Should we put one together? Yeah, let's see. Let's put my new valve stem in because this one's probably been compromised. Oh yeah, we're good. We're gonna get some serious squish. 65. Hello. Hey, what are things looking like? We're just working. We have pizzas coming at seven. I would definitely come out here. It's a party. Boy, Paul, looks like you're working hard. Well, Paul does know how to run his own tire machine. That's nice. <laughs> All right, I think it should line up with that ring right there. That's how we're going to center it. Okay, how are we for centered? Because you'll know real quick, like, I mean, it's not like you'll notice it on the dunes, but on the ride home? Yeah. You'll be uh, cursing me as your head's bouncing off the roof. <laughs> feel like you're in a loader with square tires. Now we're getting, we're in the mass production yep. here. Henry Ford status right here. Well, what are you doing for the valve stem? We can it's get in. to it. We'll just pump it up. Oh, you can just lean it out. Mm, yep. No more sticks will break this valve stem. Yep. Cross threads as good as Loctite, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. At least one time. I'm happy with that. This is in the mouth equivalent of just barely over a seven and a half inch wheel but we're gonna start going crisscross now crisscross applesauce oh yeah Ugh. one done what do you think that was fancy. so the plan is to take these in and get them powder coated I leave them chrome I'd leave them chrome and, and do the bead lock in or, or in so yellow. Really? It would look good. of hands who has launched one of these tubes across the shop I have. accidentally <laughs> i think dar's lions i've puked the I've whole done tube of grease right out. who in here remembers when you stuck it in a barrel and sucked it full before they come out with tubes yeah that's, that's, that's not me uh, maybe maybe show well, what's this really you're yeah. gonna pick the hardest thing on That is part of the shock no. system. That's part it's of the pan. pan handle. The pan, the what? Pan hard bar. The pan hard, why remote. do they have to make them sound so hard? Call it a track bar. So for short, you can call it the track bar. What's this? That is the axle. Nope, that's the tire rod. Dang it. What would this one be called? That's the pan hard bar number two. That's the drag link. Okay. <laughs> Why don't we do something that Michelle could know? 
Um, what? I don't see anything. <laughs> really? Yeah. What, what is this? The bumper! <laughs> but it's not and a very good one. It's a homemade bumper. Oh, we... <laughs> oh yeah, it's clearancy. I don't feel them hopping at all. We might have done a good job. I think we may have. Did you tighten up all the lug nuts? Pretty sure. I guess we'll find out. What do you think? It's pretty right. Oh my this gosh. Rides this ride's like the old round camp. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's weird to have 25 pounds of air in these tires. Things hang from like a Porsche. <laughs> We're third gear now. All right, so now I can't tell if it's shaking or not. I think we're okay. They're gonna be fine. I'm excited. If they're not all flat in the morning, we've done well. <laughs> by airing these down. They ran down to like eight pounds or something like that. This thing up, we're done. Well, we came, we saw, conquered, and then we did it, and it's finished. And uh, we we've already a, seen that. Yeah, we took it for a test drive. No shaking. We didn't balance them, and they're driving straight and true. We aired them down. We drove them through Grandma Lolly's ditch, and they stayed on. <laughs> yeah. If they're aired up tomorrow, we won. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs>